Sedge Hill Academy is literally five minutes from our offices in Beckenham Junction. So we reached out to Sedge Hill and asked them, is there anything we could do as a company in order to help their students, you know, in relation to their academics? They reached out to us and asked if we could bring them to site. There was a module in relation to the groundworks and the foundation that they've always struggled with. This is the scheme that's at its earlier stage because the foundations have just been implemented on site. <laughs> well, it, it varies depending on the site. I mean, we've got 13 bricklayers here today, which is, which is about right. Uh, the, the problem is doubling the labour doesn't reduce the time it takes by half. Being a teacher of construction, it's really difficult to teach it from an actual textbook. So to actually come out and see it live, seeing the pipe, seeing the piling and all the bricks, it's been absolutely a fantastic opportunity for the pupils to see. I think getting children out of the classroom and getting them active into their learning is the best thing. It is the best thing. They remember it, they remember coming out of school and they remember things that they've seen. And interacting with professionals as well also brings on their social skills. You know, they're, they're quite, they're coming from an area, you know, generation where they've had two years lockdown, they're obsessed with their mobile phones, they've lost the ability to actually engage in positive conversations with people from like professional backgrounds. So this coming out today, some of them were shy in the beginning, but a lot of them come round in the end and they started to liaise and ask questions. That's just great. That's great for us. Yeah, what's some ideas there? Heaters. Yeah, what sort of heater though? Um, it's like a Yep. Yep, yep. So you, you can have a normal radiator like you've got at home. Hot water, boiler somewhere. You'll have a, a centralised boiler system in your school somewhere and that'll pump all the hot water around to the whole school. Then you can have a normal radiator there, yeah. Also, you can have electric boilers um, that will do exactly the same as the gas boiler and in 2025, we're not allowed to use gas on site anymore. Uh, I see myself being a civil, civil engineer uh, I like to be rising up to be a project manager. I've always inspired to be one. And I feel like seeing project managers today on site has inspired me more to become one in the future. Engineering interests me because I just like the process of everything from the foundation to the bricklaying to how it finally finishes. I feel like the whole process is just really interesting. Um, what everything goes to and how everyone's involved. It's not just one person, there's many jobs and everyone. It takes everyone to bring together to make the whole construction. So I've learned different kinds of ways that they can use energy in the buildings, um, like their process when it comes to getting planning permission um, and the types of things that they have to deal with on the construction site. I want to be an architect because um, I want to leave my own touch in the world. And I feel like me contributing in future buildings will do that. I want females to be feeling comfortable and I want them to ha have confidence in themselves to step out into engineering or construction industry in general just to show their power because ladies can go out to construction and lay bricks or work in offices so I don't think there is a, such an situation where males can do it but females cannot. Today, it, it was the first time we've actually have done this, you know, we've had a school come out on site and we're learning as much as they're learning on site and um, different ways to implement. So they, when they leave, they've actually learned something and understood the process of what to do. Today's one was simply construct with the foundation and also the groundworks is that what they want to learn on site and I think we've achieved that in the process of them coming to site. The kids was really enthusiastic, they really wanted to learn, they asked really sensible questions and you know we said keep in contact because it's a very small industry and you know some of the kids have asked, requested that they can have a work experience which we're going to be arranging on site with them. I believe that today went very well. I think the students gained a lot of experience from being on site today and asking questions to myself and Chris, the senior site manager, and hopefully they will take that back and implement it in the class.